It will come as no surprise that like most adults, today's children aren't eating enough fruits and vegetables. Candy Underwood is the Family and Consumer Science Agent for the Cumberland County Cooperative Extension. And she tells us about the Kids in the Kitchen program designed to introduce young people to the joys of preparing and eating healthy foods. Well, Kids in the Kitchen started two years ago. Um, North Car well, Cumberland County received an F on their report card for kids not getting the recommended amounts of fruits and vegetables. So, and statistics show that kids who prepare meals, help prepare meals, are more likely to try new foods. So I thought, well, we'll do kids in the kitchen. Uh, we've offered it, you know, for kids ages, you know, 8 to 11. Uh, normally, our first groups, we only had 12 kids in a class, and this year we're going to open it up to 24 kids. We'll have two classes this year. We do talk about the Food Guide Pyramid. They do learn about the pyramid. They learn the different food groups of the pyramid. Um, we color that. They actually prepare meals. We target fruits and vegetables. Uh, some of our recipes are nutty bananas, hearty vegetable salad, chicken quesadillas. We go out in the garden. Uh, our horticulture agent and I work together. She's already started planting things in the garden. The kids will actually go out and pick vegetables and fruits. We had some cantaloupe last year and some cucumbers. So they would go pick those and actually chop. They learn how to chop. We learn different types of cooking techniques. They'll stir fry um, and then they're able to taste those. So they're able to see how it grows and they actually learn about the parts of the plant. You know, what part of the plant you eat down from the root to the flower. So, and they actually plant things. Uh, we painted some pots last year uh, and they were able to plant an herb. Shauna went over that with them and they planted an herb. And then they were also given aprons and each one of them could decorate their own apron for their, you know, for their personality that they, you know, wore the whole time. And at the end, I usually give them some little favors for them to take home, measuring cups, measuring spoons, uh, cutting boards, uh, liquid measuring cups, and we learn about measures as well. They learn how to measure dry as well as liquid ingredients. So it's, it's a fun field four days. Everybody's in fast-paced mode. You know, moms and dads work. Lots of times parents don't have time to go home and prepare a healthy meal. But you really do. It's just you don't have to actually stand over the stove anymore. You can open a can of corn and pop it in the microwave and it's done. Um, so I think that has more to do with it as well as parents are role models. So lots of times kids eat what their parents give them to eat. Um, and through ki kids in the kitchen, I've had parents say, well, you know, my daughter would never eat any kind of vegetable. And after the program, she was eating vegetables as well as preparing meals for the family to eat. So she was just ecstatic that her daughter was trying vegetables, eating vegetables. It's open to boys and girls ages 8 to 11. Uh, they can call me, and my number is 910-321-6869, and they can just register then, and then I'll send them some information. There is a cost of uh, $30, but that includes that apron, all the foods, and all those little knickknacks they're going to get at the end of the program. There's two sessions, and we'll take 12 per session, um, so we'll, it's opened up to a lot more kids this year. The kids in the kitchen, they, we meet four days. We'll start on Tuesday and go to a, to a Friday, and we meet from 9 to 12 each day. We have to remember as parents that kids need to try a new food at least 10 times for them really to acquire a taste. And uh, we'll be doing a little program over at um, FTCC for some parents on healthy snacks. And that's one of the tips is just give them a little bit, you know, of a new food and just let them taste it and, you know, keep offering it and offering. Don't give them a whole plate of new foods. Just put one on there with some foods that they like. So that's one thing we need to remember as parents, keep offering it. We've had all the students who've participated, I give them a pre and a post evaluation, and all the students started eating fruits and vegetables after this program. So it's, it's been successful, very successful. Well, other thing is just, you know, even a two-year-old can help in the kitchen. 
Uh, it may not be actually preparing a dish. Well, they could tear lettuce, you know, if you're making a salad, but, you know, they can set the table. You can help set the table. And that's something that they can learn. Uh, lots of kids don't know how to set a proper place setting. Uh, making it interesting, you know, why not make carrots and broccoli into trees? Or why not, you know, make a face, you know, out of your plate? Just to make it more interesting and again, you know, it all goes back to letting the kids help prepare in the kitchen. So those are some, just some little tips. Okay. I want to encourage those parents out there who have trouble with their kids getting those fruits and vegetables into their diet. Uh, we have a wonderful time. I've had lots of parents email me. Even the students who've participated have enjoyed the program. Uh, they are in the kitchen. They are cutting. They are measuring. I'm just there to supervise. So we have a great time, and I would love to hear from them to sign up their, their, their child and uh, just learn about cooking and having fun in the kitchen.